This shit is not good for my health. I have performed at least five shows for my family. You sold out yet? Yeah. They keep they we barbecue and shit. I keep having their ass in the middle of the... Thank you, thank y'all for, for coming to the... <laughs> thank y'all for being at the house. Well, I've been, I've been giving them folk the business in the living room. Thank y'all, thank y'all for coming to DC's Coming to Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DC's Coming to Club. The living room is shut down and sold out. Hold up, I, I, hey, oh, it's definitely titties in the building. <laughs> Cause my sister's titties are sagging. They are in the building. They are in the building. He said his sister got bing bag titties. Yes. <laughs> Saggy titties. I'm talking about cafeteria pizza titties. Nasty. Are they wet? Somebody you love in tonight. <laughs> that shit stuck in my head. I'm about to put this meat in somebody. Kill my bullshit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Killer Kill, he bullshit, man. He so goddamn, uh, what's the word? He might be with Bernie Sanders, man. Chill what, out. What's the word? <clears throat> when you a, uh, uh, revolutionary. <laughs> Nigga, since he gonna come in with a, with a, he gonna come in with a bang, like. Right? Hello, welcome back to the 85 South Show. I you am your time. substitute teacher. Your motherfucking groove instructor, your yoga instructor, your driving instructor, your motherfucking assistant principal, <laughs> your uh, supervisor, actually your legal guardian for the next hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to look directly in this camera and relay this message. Your mama said clean that goddamn room up. And quit touching shit. I had to eat pussy with a mask on. You ain't better eat it. You're gonna be licking <laughs> on your lips. Hey, nigga, just gonna be close to it. How'd that feel, baby? How'd that feel? I can't feel it, love. Bro, we're gonna have to learn how to talk to women with a mask on. That's how Muslims talk. You don't know who the fuck you talk to. Bitch, I always gotta be like, it's me. <laughs> they always get mad. Don't we talk about our relationship? It's fun. It's funny. What if I was think? a Muslim, I, I always tell him, hey, I tell her, listen, you gotta pull that down. I can't tell you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hey, what do you think more, what's more effective in the pussy? What? Doing like this or doing circles in no, it? No, don't do circles. A lot of they don't like circles. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't do circles. Circles again. I know for a fact. I done been told to stop doing circles. Yeah. <laughs> they cool stuff you do. I, I thought the circle, I thought they loved. She like, no, don't do circles. Don't do the don't circle? Do don't do circles. Maybe her pussy was sideways or something. I don't know, but I know, I know I, I do the circle to see how big it is. But they don't want you to. As soon as you go like this, they be like, uh-uh, go straight in. Don't do all that left and right. No. They don't like that. They don't like that left and right. They turn back quick. Hey, hey, right. hey, 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 hey. What you doing? I'm just trying to make sure that the brake lights is okay back here, man. That's all. <laughs> you touch shit that ain't broke, my nigga. <laughs> but y'all niggas stupid, bro. As fuck, right? I've been on my photography shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, what have you been taking pictures of? Man, myself, I can't pay nobody to do this shit. Shit, we ain't been to work. <laughs> shit, I've been doing shit like this. Nigga, hold up. I have been showing you, nigga. I been at the house like that all day. This nigga been taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be professional in hell, bro. Fuck the phone, nigga. This how, this how old people take selfies. Let me tell you though. We ain't bullshit. Got like I'm looking through some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really I ain't bullshit. I, I done mastered this. It's muscle memory, nigga. I know when I'm too low, I be like, uh uh, my muscle. I don't, uh, uh-huh. Oh, this really with it. Oh, I ain't bullshit. This shit crazy. Low, get in like we doing something, nigga. Shit. <laughs> don't look at the camera, fool. <laughs> Hold on, I got to get my mask on. All right, yeah, Hold get on. your mask on. They got to know that. Quit touching shit. You dig what I'm saying? Quit touching shit. Who? 
Ro, I'm about to take your job. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shit crazy. And, and the, hold up, hold up. I can't record on that because I got the setting on right. Eh, M1. Eh, here we go. Well, we about to record the show on Oh, that? yeah, we about to record the show on EV. Oh, bitch. fuck it, then. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Joe, Joe. You need Joe to meet. Joe, get your <laughs> shit. Get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, I got to cut the light on ISO. Got to cut that bitch on. You did. Eventually. Duh. Stupid ass. Ooh, y'all can use this, boy. Look at that 4K. Y'all can use this. You gonna take my S? Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna take my SD card? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta take the SD card like in real life. Yeah. Man, put me hey. in that bitch. Uh, y'all, you in that nigga? Man, welcome back to the 85. Episode. 4K. Coming in live. You know what I'm saying? Quit bitch. touching shit. Quit touching shit, bitch. <laughs> Whore. Look whore? at whore. Look, we, we live up in the motherfucking trap, man. Talk your shit. Cameraman, DC Young Fly, you're doing a magnificent job. Hold on, let me show you angle I learned. Nigga. You Get me and you in that bitch. You taking the show to a whole nother level. Me and you in that bitch. I don't bitch. know why nobody thought of that shit. Called the over the shoulder shot. Man. Ooh, man. ESPN Ooh. don't even got one. <laughs> you a motherfucking Ooh, genius, man. We bullshit. <laughs> Look at this shit. Shit, 4K. Ooh. Hold up, I'm showing too much. Nigga never knew how the how the studio looked on that side. Ooh. <laughs> we fucking up. Hey man, Ooh. don't give him the behind the scenes, man. We ain't bullshit. This nigga about to we take over. We don't use the big ass. We don't use all that. Let me go through some of the what's happenings in the world. Uh, what's happening? Let then? me some music, pimp. Ooh. Oh, oh, they, oh they so how they shoot videos in Chicago. <laughs> Somebody about to get their ass. Got to shake it. That's all I know. That's the, that's I don't know what the shake can do, but it do something. I'm telling you, this is just by reading this first line on this motherfucking oh, first line. I gotta line. get in the shaking too. I'm about to read the first line on the first line. I didn't think I pulled a shake. <laughs> Your ass crazy. All I know is somebody got an ass whooping coming. <laughs> Ooh, who Mike Tyson whoop? about to start boxing again. Oh! Yeah, he supposed to be boxing or something. I want I want him to box. Uh, what's his name? Champ. Uh, Cannon Brick, uh, uh, Shannon Brick. That's who we fight. He, that who we fight? Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Champ! Mm-hmm. Champ! He always say that. Let's go, Champ! Champ! I can't wait to see that shit. Hold up, wait a minute. The research, the, what? Stop, pause. This too good. We don't even need no music, but I need you to hear all of this. What happened, Game Five? Bruh, the research department has alerted me that love and hip hop. Got this dude on there named Maurice Fane, and they call him Arkansas Mo. He was arrested for using federal stimulus funds to buy a Rolls Royce Wraith, eighty-five thousand dollars in jewelry, and he paid forty thousand on his child support. I don't see nothing wrong. He paid forty thousand. That's what I'm saying. You got free Arkansas Mo. Free Arkansas Mo. First (laughs) nigga I ever seen commit a crime and pay child support. Free my boy. He might beat that other shit, but you'll never beat that child support. Hey, one thing about it, I wonder, I wonder if they gonna get the money back. Look, look, look at how the government is. They ain't gonna get that money back knowing that he stole it from them. <laughs> <laughs> he stole the money from the government to pay child support. <laughs> hey, boy, that nigga lit. Shout out to Gilbert Arenas. He stole Arenas. money from the government to pay he child support. He had the lottery. Support. What happened? Gilbert Arenas won the lottery. 300 racks. The crazy part is, he can't even make it to the store. His homeboy looked out for him, played his numbers, and he hit that bit. Motherfucking one. 300,000. Salute give to Gilbert Arenas. <clears throat> Gilbert, shoot me some, nigga. He ain't gonna give you nothing. Nigga, Richard Hell, shoot me some. Hey, Mark Cuban had a good ass idea. What car? What more? He I said the government should pay people $1,000 every two weeks, but it's a catch. But you catch. only got 10 days to spend it. That good. So if you don't spend it in 10 days, the money go back to the to, to another bank and then we try to recoup. Oh, you don't get no more. Something like that. But be real. Up. Where the hell they get all that money from in the first place? They get it off the printer. They print that shit. But do what I'm saying though. Y'all print money to give it up for us to chill for what? Nigga been broke for a long time. Mm-hmm. If y'all want to say we've been through a pandemic our entire life. Yeah, it's been, it's been like this. Shit just getting real. <laughs> Earth. You wanna make a virus and then you, oh, see what it was, they wanted 
some way where everybody can get some money instead of just niggas, because you just can't get niggas money. Hell no. We shouldn't, we shouldn't on everybody. They trying to bring sports back. They want to start without the fans. What you think about that? That's some bullshit. It's like, it's like jacking your dick in front of the fan. What? It ain't going to work. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just ain't going to work. <laughs> that would be dumb. You get that. it. It's cold. You dig what I'm saying? Even though it's hot in the room, it's cold. DC, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Your song inspired me. <laughs> Your song inspired me. Dude, something is seriously wrong with you. I can't wait. All right, we can't. We can't. Man, we can't spoil the games like that. Don't I forgot, we got to have like a little moment. All right. Can't wait for somebody to get here so I can listen to them talk their shit. Oh, yeah. He going to talk a lot of it. Y'all got y'all these, are not, up. these are not really even news updates. You know, a lot of people just been doing what people do. I've been seeing a lot of videos of white ladies going off on people in public. This <laughs> shit been funny as a they They've been going off, man. Talking crazy to the police and everything. But did y'all see the video with all them white folks standing in that uh in that little restaurant and they were pushing like the police like move, you ain't coming in here. And 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 the police put that dude behind. Uh, he put a hand behind his back, and they was stand like standing in front of the police. Like they were like, "You ain't finna take him." And they was like, "Move!" And he was like, "Y'all gotta get out the way so I can." I'm like, "Man, that would've been some niggas. Mm -mm. Nigga would've been uh -uh. terrified." Don't, don't put niggas in that situation, cause niggas know it can't get that far, nigga. But this nigga walked up on a gang of white folk. They outside, like, cause they was supposed to be practicing social distance. But these motherfucker wanted this particular restaurant. So the police went up there like, man, y'all gotta move. Man, the white folk look, turned around and looked at his ass like, move or what? <laughs> <laughs> move, or, move or fucking what? Hey man, I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it a thousand with you. Sometimes when I ain't feeling so well, I get on YouTube and I watch videos of white people going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> For real. It's fucked up to keep watching all these videos of niggas getting killed. Ah! I watch, so I have to look up white people going to jail. It made me feel better. <laughs> What's your best video? Hey, this is this what white people always say when they know they fucked up. This is the last line you hear before they go to jail. Look at this. I know my rights! It's a rap. It's a rap. They going in. After that, I know my rights! It's over with. Then they people. always look at the police like they can't believe they get locked up. Bruh, because they, they try to argue with this shit like they didn't know what was going to happen. You can't do that. No, yes, you can. He is, it's done. He the police. Can't tell the police what to do. Drink a Capri now. <laughs> Not another one. Who the fuck I bury? Who the fuck pick Mary? <laughs> Y'all niggas don't drink Capri now. Get another one. Nigga, it's another berry. <laughs> <laughs> tropical punch, I that's I. Oh yeah. Niggas don't fuck with tropical punch. You know what's but coming soon, do. right? What? That Carlos Bernard, nigga. Real soon. I had the initial phone call with them people, man. Hey man, I love to hear shit like that. I can't wait to drop some of that shit off knowing I'm finna get some pussy. What? I can't wait to drop some of that shit I've known. I'm finna get some pussy. Oh, that, you gonna have a drink in that shit? Carlos Bernard, you oh, fucking yeah. right. This is what I'm gonna mix it with. Dr. Pepper? Yep. New. Look, cut it. Don't do that. That shit gonna taste like rubber touch. Don't do that. She gonna think a nigga trying to kill her. What the fuck you be on? Man? What this is? I ain't sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, that's my, my homeboy shit, Carlos Bernard. <laughs> uh uh. Take Carlos and who Bernard, I'm whoever. Because if you just drink that shit straight, I don't have you too manish. But see, you more like a whiskey type of guy. That's what I'm saying. We're coming out with saying? a yak. We got to bring a yak out. Got to at least, at least, at least two cubes. At least two cubes. I don't even know if we can put it in the pouch. Can you put liquor in the pouch? In, the, in some shit like this? Yeah. Nigga, Uncle Prince pouch with alcohol. <laughs> stop, stop. That's nigga, not... nigga, do you know how that? Fuck the club up or not. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, how many of them motherfuckers have you? You opened up all them. Nigga, gonna be in the club out there. What? This in a minute? This so childish, man. Why the fuck did you open up all 
I'm picking y'all what gonna drink. <laughs> hey man. So I had to I'm, utilize. I'm too high for this shit, bro. You need to relax. <laughs> I'm on my second shot. <laughs> Nigga, I'm in the club, better not shot like this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drop the shot. Hey man. Y'all are crazy in here uh, tonight. But y'all so stupid. I watched that last episode, man. With you, um, Chico and uh, Emmanuel, man. Oh my God. Why y'all ain't say that boy about them women, man? <laughs> DC, look at Marvin Gaye looking at Emmanuel. <laughs> that boy want to say something damn about it. Boy, you going to be hurt for the rest of your life. He said he need a woman that listen, bro. Ask any married couple, how y'all do it? Oh shit, I just let the bitch do what you do. <laughs> that one nigga be fed up with Mary. I just let the bitch do what she do. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sick of this shit, buddy. <laughs> 20 years married, you can't make no You remember at the show, you see like a married couple, then you ask them like, how long, what was the trick to staying together? They always say some shit, some, some simple ass shit. What's the trick, man? <laughs> Been together 77 years. Communication. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta communicate. <laughs> you gotta hear what she's saying and you gotta say what you mean. What? <laughs> you gotta learn how to talk. You gotta talk to each other. Well, like, we do that every day, but I'm like, no, it's a limit. <laughs> <laughs> like, every day. I think they just be saying just the stupid shit like that to fuck with people. Like, 33 I years, what's the trick, OG? Shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all young folks something. <laughs> hey. Don't never go to bed with the light on. Hello. <laughs> hey, you heard I said, don't you? <laughs> What'd you say? Hey, don't never go to bed with the light on. I had one couple. I asked OG, man, how come you, 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 y'all been so long? You know what I'm saying? Y'all been together so long. He said, <laughs> he said, you want to know the truth? Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. He said, I can't find no divorce lawyer. <laughs> Sometimes you hear stories at the comedy show that you wouldn't believe. I ain't know what to say. <laughs> he like, these motherfuckers are high. <laughs> Damn. You gonna get married, bro? It about that time. Who said that? Carlo Bernard. But who said it's about time to get married? Carlo Bernard. At nigga. what point in your life do it just be that time to get married? <coughs> hey, man, hey, hey. You've had enough fun in life. Time to get married. Fuck that. Time you to find your probation officer. That's what I feel. Hmm. That shit, marriage is a you contract. You get married before me. Marriage is a contract. <laughs> <laughs> you closer than I am. You must be sipping Carlos Bernard. You <laughs> <laughs> on that Carlos Bernard. <laughs> what? Let me tell you something. I don't know. I probably get married on my deathbed. What the hell? Motherfucker, you want to be over there like this? I think it's time. <laughs> I want to get married. <laughs> hey, bro, that shit is some bullshit, bro. You getting tied down, bro. You have a contract. It's rules, bro. Marriage no, is for rules, I'm, I'm bro. I'm getting married. You getting married? I'm, I'm getting, getting married, married, too. I ain't going to lie. I knew it. That's all it. I knew it. One, it's it's going to happen. You know how you like you about to, pay a, about to pull a prank on somebody? Shit get quiet after that. Nah, I'm going to get married, though. Ain't nothing like finding your soulmate. <laughs> I, I found my soulmate. I'm gonna get married like late 40s. Late 40s? <laughs> late 40s, I, I ain't gonna lie. You talking about settling down for the rest of your life. What does that mean? You have found your new probation officer <laughs> for the rest of your life and y'all got rules. And if you were so happy to break those rules, you got to pay this bitch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I ain't paying a bitch damn thing. Bitch, you ain't paying me? Well, that's fucked up. I find a rich bitch can't wait for this bitch to cheat. Are you that's out with anyone? Can I see your phone? <laughs> password, uh, password, please. <laughs> now you see how you bitches feel? What you need my password? Bitch, I said password. Because if you cheat on me, I'm going to leave with everybody. What if you find a rich lady and you, and you fuck around and get married, and now you got to go to court because <clears throat> you found her ass cheating? Hey, you the victim. You know you got some money coming. That's what Mary J. Bly, uh, <laughs> husband did. 
I you in there nothing. telling everything. Yes, your honor, I got all the text messages and everything. I'm telling you, she been cheating. She been, she been sucking dick, y'all. <laughs> she done sucked sir, your dick, y'all. Sir, you can't say that in the courtroom. She been sucking penis, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Caught, y'all. She been sucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, order, no, y'all, the cop, y'all, the, don't you see I'm traumatized right now? <laughs> Nigga be trying his best to get all the money. Yeah, all the, I don't went to the cop right now. My back hurt. I done seen them folks. I have been able time. to sleep. My nerves are bad. I, I am I up smoking cigarettes. I can't eat. I can't swallow. Look. <laughs> I ate a biscuit take him out. Take him out of the courtroom. <laughs> oh, Lord. You walk by the bitch like this. Oh, Lord. I can't believe it. Oh, Lord. Take him out. <sighs> that's I'm all hurt. They, that's all they hear through the rest of the proceeding. They in the back there hurt, hollering. But then guess what it's going to be, though? It's going to be a woman judge. Oh, you said hear none of that shit you talking up. about. We got the research department <laughs> is on it today. You said Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. Allegedly settled for about 30000 a month. To her husband? That ain't enough. He is hurt. That is not enough. <laughs> that boy is sitting up getting free bad. I'd be so, Future. I'd free be bad. so petty if that was me. Free bad. Soon as the judge would have made the settlement, I would have turned over and looked at her side. I was your lover and your secretary, <laughs> working every day of the week. Thirty. I'm rats. playing her music. How he win? He had a good lawyer, his cousin. You know what? When niggas win shit like that, I they make them sign up. a piece of paper to not tell them how they won. I know. Like you got to sign a piece of paper. That might not even be accurate. Thirty thousand. It That's might be three thousand. You know how niggas yeah. laugh and go cap. She probably buzzing his head. Three thousand money. Probably Chump. Get, yeah. Child support money. Child support money. Damn. It hard finding a, 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 hey, bro, a rich woman ain't married no broke nigga. I don't give a fuck. What if what if you met a bitch, right? And she told you that her baby daddy had the kids and put her on child support. I'm talking about she cold. <laughs> I laugh like a motherfucker. She a little bit behind on her child support. Oh, they ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> You better go ask your best friend, bitch. You better go steal out the mall. You better go steal out the mall. You better go do something. Stealing out the mall. Stealing out the mall. Better steal out the What's mall. What's up? Yeah, give it straight. <coughs> that OG people right now? Yeah. All right, bitch. Stand that dough like gangster. Let me see. I'll be right back. What's up? Taylor OG, what poppin' with you? Yo, it's Trans Lee, man. You can catch me performing. Make me better and catch this wave all on the 85 show. This is all exclusive. Let's get it. Took them chains up around my feet, put them back around my neck. Working till I can't sleep no more, but that money just worth my stress. I bet you knew that, yo. Hey, I bet you knew that. Can't catch this wave, can't catch this wave, not with your do rag on. One of these days I'm gonna be way far away. Like I said, man, we in the building. Make sure y'all follow 80 Vibe. If you ain't doing that, then what you doing with your life? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I interrupt this program. I, I you gotta interrupt the program. You got to interrupt, do, do the little shit. We gotta interrupt the whole program. What do you shit? Because we gotta start over. You gotta start all the way over. Because we gotta give a proper introduction. Oh, got, man. Man, we got royalty in the building. What we too. got? Man, we got the big homie killer, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, ain't nothing about the long talk these for Oh! Not about the long Look, talk these for This is my OG. Can I, can I, can I, can I, before we get started, let me tell you a real Atlanta story. Okay. All right. I'll see if I know this. Now, listen, yeah, he definitely know this. <laughs> I was probably like eight. I was about eight. Then when killed, just popped off. Now, everybody know you had to come through the skating rink to get the youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came through the skating ring, had the skating ring packed now. They how cool kid was. He over there doing autograph, they autograph day. So all the kids and shit lined up, he over there autograph. <clears throat> Get who over there talking to him the entire time? Me, nigga. I'm sitting on there on the at the table while people coming over there getting autograph. He did not tell security to tell me to move or nothing. And guess what I'm telling him the whole time? We cousins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah time, I'm like, look, kill him, you my cousin, because your people stay across the street from my people, and we like cousins. He was like, nah, we ain't really cousins, but we, we friends. I was like, 
Shit, that'll do. <laughs> that's I your Killer Mike old. story? Nigga, that's my Killer Mike story. My Killer Mike story, one night I was at the club just right. kicking it. It was I was at on Peter Street at 255. Right. Ain't nobody really even in there, just, you know, regular bar night. I walk outside, guess who out there? Only person. Only. Killer Mike. Out there. Got the weed. No blunt. <laughs> Waited on the nigga to bring the blunts back about an hour or something. And the stove right Kicked there. Kicked it. Just chill. Just chill. Just real nigga real shit, nigga man. Shit. I don't hey. feel. <laughs> All the time, bro. Man, we appreciate you coming to our trap house. Hold know. on, I brought some alcohol. This ain't against y'all. Hey, wife. before yeah. I, it better not be that Carlo Bernard. <laughs> nah, my wife, look, 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 my wife told me she had me call the spray bar. That only reason she let me do it with y'all. For real? Okay, yeah, she ain't even let, she ain't even let me Shout out to Shea Y'all got to go with y'all, and I got to hang out with little Lilo, who got the garden over there off Hollywood Road. So, okay, yeah, then. You had to be real west side. Oh, I literally remember that story. That shit was listen, bro. I'm going to show you how life, how ugly life is, though. Like, his nephew date my daughter now. So it's just like, damn, we going to fuck up. Be we family. Yeah. No, like, we he family. He been saying y'all were cousins. No, like, we family. Yeah, I, I manifested. I told him at yeah, that time. That's we going to go, though. Nigga, I don't we, want we, their we, ass we, on TV. Yeah. I don't want them getting too oh, cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want no babies. Just we, enjoy each other. Hang out. We ain't with that dumb shit yet. Y'all too young. That's so deep. That's so west side. That west side the fuck now. For real. I'm gonna let you know, but that you west side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good, he, but he's a good kid. Exactly. I really gotta say he's a genuinely honest kid, and, and he just he's just a great example of hard working young man. I'm so glad my daughter didn't really like dope niggas, man. Just like thank you. Most definitely. For you real. I, right? I, yeah, I like. I'm gonna have to hire hit man. I'm gonna have, have a nigga kitten out, have his finger cut off and shit. But the mother niggas, yeah. not my nephew. No, no, he he's a good kid, man. Like, yeah, like he 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 swag, but he he worked. Like, fuck that. Cause the cat Louis, Louis, yeah, Louis, 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 that's all I'm saying. It's a good family. Man, so I appreciate it. You know, suck, two good West Side family. But it that we don't need to make it genetic yet, though. No, nah. not yet. But y'all not to y'all it's family. Let me get old. Your granddad still be in the same club you be in. Oh, you you won't want me though. <laughs> That's what's up, brings man. the blood for kids. Yeah. You brought some? I brought some too. Yeah, I brought a joint. On, I, yeah, I brought a one gram joint, man. Because I know you're going to talk your shit. I'm going to kick it with y'all, man. Man, everybody. Yeah, give man. me a switcher. Everybody go ahead, gang, some, Bob. What she go at? Some weed, man. That's how we... That's she how go we up there getting a haircut. He we no social distance smoking. Uh, <laughs> everybody got to bring their own shit. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch yourself, man. You don't yeah, want to fuck around, it. Doc. You be sharing a blunt with a nigga who couldn't afford Hell one. Dig no. what I'm talking about? I mean, that is for real. <laughs> I was just charity death. You get to heaven, like God, why here? You gave a nigga something he ain't need. <laughs> talking about GoFundMe, gonna be lit. Yeah. <laughs> who got the light? Fifth fry gonna be lit. I swear. Up. Everybody got the lighter, man. Killer Mike, what you been up to, man? Promoting the album. We got on um, Runner Jewels Four, dropping July fifth. We were supposed to be doing Coachella in April. Um, know how that go. And yeah, the world got canceled, so we held the album to July, well, June 5th. So June 5th, the album dropped. So I done did like seven miles worth of interviews a day. Mm -hmm. And y'all know I had to come here, man, and smoke a joint and chill, because boy, white folks be talking. Man, and, he, and they don't talk about that shit damn, that we be talking nah, about. No, they be wanting to know. You be like, man, they be like, you, man, you mirror the line that you said on your third album that reminded me of a Led Zeppelin riff, and I just want to know how to make you think. And you'd be like, God damn, I shouldn't have smoked three joints before I caught that. <laughs> so that shit been cool, though, man. That shit, but I, um, shouts out to LP, my rap partner, we're going to have to come back together. But just, yeah, man, just promoting the record and growing the garden and fishing and shit. Just you country. fishing? You don't fish. I, of course I fish. What you want to do? We're going out with Greg. When? He been he took Yachty last week, took Coach a week before. I be seeing him, I told him. Man, man, it's man, two people, I'm going to tell you, it's two, two black dudes to follow. Fishing for, um, Fishing for Hip Hop is one of them, and um, Greg Street is the other. But my man, my, my man, the hip hop fisherman, he, he from the north, but man, he fished like he was raised everywhere in the world. He done fished deep sea fishing, lake fishing. You know a nigga real like when, he, when he be in there literally for trout and salmon. I'm like, man, this See, man I, really I don't fishing. know the difference between fish because I know they fish. And you're going to eat them. Yeah. You're going to fry them. I'm going to just get them out of the wall nah, and put them in the bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. what that is? <laughs> well, you know, fish. comedian Lavelle Crawford is an excellent fisherman. So I can believe that. He got a fisherman accent. Yeah. He's For real. Good. Shouts out to Lavelle, My man. My boy yeah. Lavelle, he, man, he, he fish his butt. ass off and he go often. So he know exactly what you, you put Devin him on the fish. ground. Devin fish. John Buck fish. Right? Yeah, yeah. Devin a hell of a fisherman too. Devin the dude. Deion Sanders fish. We know yep. Deion. Deion fish. See, nigga don't know that shit is peace, man. It is. You know that, what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring you by, by, by still waters to restore your soul. That boy's boy, boy gonna be a preacher. You that dig what I'm saying? He already is. That you dig what I'm saying? Man. I get by that water, I get that peace. Come you on, though. <laughs> <laughs> Pass that blunt, Pastor. Come on, now. 
<laughs> Run the Jews three. Yeah, Run the Jews four. This is four. This installment four. It's our fifth album because LP produced rap music in its entirety, mm-hmm. and we Which keep is featured a on that. Dope ass album. Yep, it was the eighth anniversary of rap music, um, about three four days ago, and it was the ninth anniversary of Pledge. With, they had Ric Flair on it. Uh-uh. You know what? Yeah. That was all, I was just about to say. That's one of the motherfuckers that we can't talk about enough. Yeah, that play. <laughs> that goddamn Ric Flair. That Ric Flair song was it's 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 still man one of my most classic. Like I went in man like man, you you real. did you did some. Let me tell you something. I was watching you when y'all was putting the videos on VHS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had your video on the VHS. Yeah, that's the, oh, that's a Columbia day. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> there was there was there was not as glorious as the days me and Lo talking about that that play series was well. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just we went to Texas and we started dropping underground all the way back. We dropped the stores like Paul Wall and Chameleon. I taught grind time how to grind underground. The, the grit boys, Paul Wall, Chameleon, King that Kong flip. to these monkeys. Yeah, like they literally. <laughs> Took us to press the, the music, where the press the music got it. We picked up the CDs out of the side of the highway. We met the man on the highway and dropped them in music stores coming all the way back from Houston. You know what else? Some oh. of my favorite shit? Bad Day, Worst Day. Oh, Bad Day, Worst Day. The one in the remix with me and Q. Q? Yeah. 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 Yeah, y'all go listen to these records, man. You go. Oh yeah, they got niggas going to you YouTube. Yeah. Oh, right before now. you before you listen to all yeah. of that, I gotta <laughs> tell you this one though. Another one that you fucked up so bad and it never it was so unexpected. The dope story over there, 112. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Mm. I've always said I'm going to re-record that. I'm like, I'm going to do that one live. Like, Man, gonna please. Do that one you went real. crazy on that motherfucker. You went yeah. crazy. Yeah, that dope story was fun. Shouts out to 112 because it wouldn't have been done without them. They were doing a mixtape. And me and Slim learned how to fly planes together, weirdly enough, in high school. Shouts Weird. out to Mr. Birch. He um, at Joy. It was a summer program where essentially the city paid you to learn how to. You a pilot, nigga? No, nah, I didn't get my license. Oh. Yeah, I flew. We flew from Atlanta. We flew like what happens is the instructor. The instructor takes off. The hardest part is taking off and landing. So the instructor takes you off, and then you get the controllers, and we flew to Macon. Oh. You turn around, you fly back to Atlanta. Nigga, you flew. In, yeah. in public school. Yeah. What school it was? That, it had, that program was at George. I was in summer school at Mays, and I went to Doug. So Mr. Berto would pick me up, because I did all my core classes in summer school. I figured out a way to cheat the system. I fuck math. I take that shit for 60 days, in the, 30 days in the summer, rather than take a whole semester. So I did that. I get out my core class. He'll come Small grab mother. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to don't be dumb. Right. Anybody who didn't graduate in 2020 is stupid. Ooh. They suspended all tests. All you had to do was turn any work in. My buddy who a teacher say, man, I told one nigga, man, whatever you turn in last, man, I don't give a fuck with one paper. That's what your grade is for the year. Guess what the dumb ass nigga got for the a uh, 98. He said the only 98 ever scored. For real? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do next year, but the nigga ain't student this year. <laughs> <laughs> he starting off with a four. Yeah. Nigga valedictorian, ain't Look, man, I called and had a talk with my son. I said, look, son, it's never been easy to graduate high school and get a Georgia license. I'm going to just say, man. When they told them, nigga, they couldn't drive don't, to don't, get them bitches. Don't be dumb, man. What? Don't be dumb. If I could have got a license without the test, my man, my mom too, my stepmom worked for the DMV, and I still had to take the test. Nigga, what you talking about? Yeah. I, knew, I knew a plug who was going to get me at the front of the line, but I still had to drive. I did. You dig know what I'm saying? She said, look, I'm going to get you right here, but nigga, you finna go in that car you finna and drive. Get it. Hold that shit at the 10 and 2 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I was looking for my other blunt, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you did. <laughs> man, tell me about the swag shop, man. How the swag you? shop, man, that's not open. Oh, my heart broken right now. We on. Um, that's we what I was my chain, my way, What man. you started the other week when you came out and said the barbershop ain't open? You had to talk the yeah. whole Twitter argument. Yeah, 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 niggas was really ain't... going up. Killer Mike said the motherfucking barbershop ain't open. The barbershop ain't motherfucking open. Yeah, I, ain't I, I know you got a barbershop at the dome. Yeah, I got one. We got one in State Farm Arena. Our flagship store is 365 Edgewood Avenue. And we got our OG store at um, 3461 Roosevelt Highway. So we renovating the OG store now. So it's getting done. So if you're on the south side and you've been supporting us the last eight years, man, the, the renovation is dedicated to y'all. The flagship store pumping, retail doing good. We ain't got our, we ain't pumping retail like y'all yet, but if y'all wanted an example on our board. On our, on our board, look, we got a board, right? Right. So you pick the companies and movements you like, y'all up there. Like For we real? love with y'all. Nigga, do. we fought with you, nigga. So we that's, love that's, what you're doing <laughs> in the community. So that's the, that's the everybody here, like what y'all doing is dope, is working. So, you know, as a brand, man, we a barbershop, but, you know, more than a barbershop, swag is, is what, the, the community is like our, our community gave this country jazz music, 
God bless Richard, you know, soul, rock and roll. Most death. You know. Funk, rest in peace, little Richard. Gospel, yeah, rest, rest in peace. peace. So the swag shop do that. Like y'all are subjects in the swag shop. And I'm just like, man, I can't wait to take this thing national. So I'm excited. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very sad that we where we at in terms of can't being open. But man, when we open, just know we finna fuck shit up. Hey. Not headline, but <laughs> now nah, we fucking no headline. We fucking it up. We fucking shit <laughs> the game though. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to have a barbershop. I'm, I'm, def- I'm definitely gonna come 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 mess with y'all. And yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? We want you, man. And, and, and give me a line up in there for one of your top barbers. Yeah, you we did. got you. We got mm, you. Mm, mm, line to line. I didn't even know y'all was down there peeping the '85 South Show, man. Oh they yeah, got, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. We, TV. we got the Apple TV. You just pull the shit up, check it out. Oh, uh, man. Uh, one of them straight. However, they got the faster. You know them niggas sleep. But yeah, we sitting yeah, and, and watch, man. Like, and the Southside shot love y'all, man. Like, For real? Yeah, y'all ever pop in now? Them boys, them boys, they love y'all. Y'all down. Fuck okay, it. bitch. Let's get a Capri. Is this shit infused? Nigga, it got alcohol. All right, let's get it. Let's, let's go. Let's try it. I don't even know how to open this shit. You saw how easy that sound was. That <laughs> shit is beautiful, bro. Man. Easy. It got alcohol later, guys. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. Who you got on this new album, man? Man, on the new album, man. The Ooh. new one. Go on, give me the sneak peek, man. I know. I need to know. I only. I. Hold on. Oh yeah, it dropped. The list dropped, so you know who on it. It's um. Did didn't we drop it? Let me ask new face. We dropped. We dropped the track listing, right? So somebody I'm very happy about on it. Two chain. Ooh. Titty two necklace. Yeah, I'm Yay. very very happy. Like Yay. I got. I got to say him fur not last because. Man, I just love being from Atlanta. Right. Like we diverse. We got so many different types. We got comedians that's R and B and gospel singers. We got Talk your you know shit. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got so many talented people, but we be all moving. Sometimes it's hard to work. So well, I, I don't love, think niggas know how talented two chains is. Oh no, nah, like he's a genius. Like that straight man. up. And I and I fuck with him. Like when you look at the like there was a time when you dropped music, you dropped the whole theme with your music, right. and, you, and you trans like when Dre wore that turban. Every nigga in Atlanta who wore the turban the next day, you knew was a true Dre fan. Now it took a little long for everybody else to catch on. Right. But I remember them brave first nigga wearing turbans in the barbershop. Like, Man, this nigga tripping. This nigga, this nigga crazy. Dre and this guy, this nigga crazy. And the next thing you know, with thirteen niggas in the barbershop looking like they were from East India. So <laughs> with Tit, Tit has had the ability to make the streets do things. And it's, it's, that's, a, that's a level of artistry and genius that don't often get recognized. It's like right. he called luck, but now nah, he dictates the temperature. Mm-hmm. We all run in the same festival. So as we moving around some of the biggest festivals in the country, we pop up, Tit standing there with a drone. I was like, what you doing? Like, I'm testing out my drone, kill. I was like, for what? Shit, if I got a drone looking at the trap, you know, and the folk coming. I said, man, this nigga is a dick. Crazy, man. <laughs> But he said, man, I, he said, I really fuck with you. And he, at the time, he knew LP. Now he said, but man, I really fuck with you and LP. Man, that white boy be rapping. He said, I want to do he something really with y'all. He really does. That was about a year before the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl came around. We was in the meeting before that. He said, man, y'all working? I said, we about to get. He said, I want to bullshit. I want to get on something. That white boy be rapping, man. Y'all be going back to back. So I told L, I say, man, Tit really fuck with you. Right. I, he said, how you know? I say, because he said, that white boy be rapping. Right. Say get them signed together. As we was going through records, man, we found one record we thought was dope, and it's dope as fuck. He got on it and smashed. So that was one for me, cause I really I love him as a friend and as a partner. He a dope individual. He genius, and people weren't expecting how to run the jewels of him. So that right. one, we got Mavis Staples from the Staples. Um, we got Josh from Queens of the Stone Age. Same record. That's dope ass rock pedigree, dope ass soul and gospel pedigree. We got Zach De La Roca, Rage Against the Machine. And Pharrell on the same song together. Ooh, for know, that's, real. That's one. So I'ma tell you, man, for me, the the way the way we did this is it's like as I saw Outcast make records. Mm-hmm. It was they had big names a lot of times with CeeLo popping up out of nowhere, Erica, but it was real organic. It was from a real friendship circle. Right. So I guess they like that. Like there's some huge names, but like these just our partners and it's dope. Right. That was Wait. crazy that you mentioned CeeLo because it just the, like a couple episodes I was telling niggas that CeeLo one of the coldest rappers. Like a lot of the younger cold the best in the dungeon. They don't cold. know how cold his nah, he rap the best is. in the dungeon. Cold. I told I said this and it's not the start controversy, but I tell people all the time like he the he the best. No, nah, CeeLo definitely the best. Like the dungeon, like he the best. He I definitely, ain't saying he, he, he definitely the, the best. But like like you getting bar for bar, go listen to his verse on the Soul Assassin's album. Go listen to that verse on that Soul Assassin. That should have changed your life. 
That's the, I'm still trying to catch up with that verse. And hold I done wrote some on. of the I always tell the people to listen said, to what, which verse one? on Gutter it's Butter. On the Soul Assassin's album. On that Gutter Butter. On yeah. that uh, Still Standing. Assassins. Yeah, yeah. Assassins. Which, which song? Yeah. What was the name of that song, New Face? Do you remember? He was like, you end up in apartment 23 right next door to me. I know that was like the end of the verse. But it's, it's, it's Goody uh-huh. Mob, it's on the Soul Assassin. I don't even know. I'll pull it up for you. I don't even know. Marijuana just robbing me of my memory. Pardon me. I already know. Assassin. I'll be the same way. Assassin. That nigga say assassin. That motherfucker say Asian in. This shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My phone's stupid just like me. Yeah, this one I knew 2 chains was on another level. When that nigga said YSL belt buckle, y'all niggas show is looking. <laughs> nigga, that was the coldest. <laughs> and I ain't catching it to the whole, to like three songs later. I was like, hold up, let me go back to that shit. What that nigga say? Yay. Now I was smoking weed and I was cleaning the tub out and I looked. I was like, y'all niggas show. That shit go together. I got locked up listening to Jane. I was, <laughs> all I want for my birthday, I was in the Crown Vic. Ashy. I ain't even had no color. You know how the you know how the little ash right before you spray the yeah. spray the car? That's how my car was. It was just the ash. It was the, <laughs> the first color ever. I'm riding like back. All I heard was, yeah, it was just prime that. It ain't had no color. Nigga, I'm riding all I all I want for my birthday is a big booty hole. And I see to it, I ride past him in the middle of the lane like he waiting for somebody. I ain't driving, fam. I'm just crunk. Your tag wasn't no good. Nah, bro. I bought, I bought the car from somebody who ran from the police, and I ain't know. And I kept the nigga tag on my car. Now, when I say your tag, I already know the one. Your tag wasn't no good. Listen, when they be sitting in the middle of the street, y'all, they run a tag. That way they, they run they run and take in your tag. So but the your thing tag was, ain't no I good, knew I was mad. straight, but I ain't know I was straight. My license was straight, but I ain't know my tag was straight. <laughs> Killer Mike, you did an excellent job promoting Bernie Sanders. Yeah, man. I, yeah, I, I really, I really like this policy. I really you believe. You fuck it. with Bernie too, ain't it? Yeah, shit. Everybody in the world do now, cause the Republicans stole all his policy and giving niggas the same shit he would've, <laughs> without having to goddamn be near the end. You know, he's making sure the we make like basically the Progressive Party. His policy, like as a human being, I like him. He's cool, but his policy is is what got me to step up for him. Like. I like a lot of people, but I ain't standing next to nobody unless I really believe in the same principles and morals. And, right. You know, everybody in my mind in this country, the richest country in the world, we can figure out a way for everybody to basically have health care. You know what I'm saying? We can figure that out. We can figure out making sure that for the next 20 years our kids have an education that's going to take us as a country the next 80 years. We can figure that out. And if we don't figure it out, it's going to be our own peril to the people on the bottom, you know, the people who live on the west side, the people who are on southwest Atlanta. You know, it's going to be for people who out in the outskirts of lot throwing you back there on Bruce Street is gonna be bad for you. So, you know, on a local level, you better make sure you pushing for politicians that are pushing for things that are in your favor. If you know that for the next 15, 20 years, things might get so slim, you might have to grow your own tomato, it might be time to start changing high schools in the Tuskegee universities, where instead of having a football field, you grow food on there. Because if you don't have some of these basic things that you know, you know, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad for you. You a little younger, but on that same street you grew up on across from my aunt. When I was a kid, it was people with chickens in that street <coughs> in their backyard, mm-hmm. people with gardens on that. And now there's not. You know, everybody's sitting in the front yard, you know, maybe grilling with some meat they bought from the stove. But meat don't go from the stove. Meat comes from a hunt. Right. You know, I remember a time on that street where every man on that street either fished or hunted, or, you know, was a mechanic fixed his own car. And it, as that street has changed, more consumerism is happening and less build up. So just as people, black people, especially Southerners, you better start to rethink what you, what you, what you want to be doing. You know what I mean? Because it's going to get a lot worse. Right. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Hey, I mean, you made bad. black history when you got them Crips they own cola, though. Yeah, and the blood pop. And the blood pop. Yeah, but the Crip cola definitely is the one that the Crip cola is definitely the thing that's most remembered and still pumping, still pumping. And, and hopefully one day it'll grow bigger and bigger and bigger because there's no reason we get all these other companies cool and we never profit from it. Never, we waiting we on never you to bring profit. your show back too, man. Yeah, yeah, me too, man, me too. I just had to get this album done. You know, I still yeah. sing and dance for a living, primarily. You know what I mean? You know, I'm <laughs> Y'all on, heard that. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm in Run the Jewels, man. Y'all check it out. We got a new single out right now, Ooh La La, with, featuring Greg Nice and DJ Premier on the cut. Y'all check out the video. If y'all like it, download the shit. It's dope. You know? Man, I love how you started a whole nother, you like started that whole run the jewels. It's like a whole movement. Man, yeah. Still a separate movement, but yeah. you know, it's still working to your brand. Also. Man, I want to appreciate Wayne and M. Wayne was on his, I can't smoke blunts, I got the joint. 
Wayne, man, I just, again, I'm, you know, before it was Atlanta and Houston, New Orleans and Miami and Memphis, it was the South. You right. had New South York, world. LA, and the, and the rest of y'all country motherfuckers. That's shit. Right. So Wayne, I've been a, a fan and supporter <clears throat> of with the cash money movement and what. So for, to him, for him to give me my roses and give my group they roses, I, our roses and Eminem, you know, do that. It was a big thing. So I just want to publicly say I really sincerely appreciate you and whatever you drink or smoke, I'm trying to find your address so I can make sure it get to you. M, whatever you don't drink or smoke, I won't send, but whatever you like, I definitely would like to send some. So if you have your people hit my DM, I just got a, you know, a token of appreciation for y'all. Man, you, we got a lot of appreciation for you because you always it. represent niggas in a real way. Always. <laughs> we know, always. We know you a real nigga. Yeah, yeah. I know. I there, know. Yeah. And then you talk that shit to them people in a way that they can get it and you're not the nigga that they expect you to be, but nah. you the nigga that we know you are. Yeah. You, be them up. you be fucking them up. You be fucking them up. You be fucking them up, but yeah. not the nigga they expect you to be. Yeah, yeah. You be fucking them up, OG. You got to really know that this nigga know what he's saying. Like, yeah. You yeah. be fucking them up, OG. Hey, man. Man, it's my job to represent my people well. You know what I mean? It's my job. Like I, I got. I done, I've been around a lot of good people. His family, a great family, from the west side. My family, great. With the, I'm not gonna embarrass them. I'm not gonna embarrass his mom. I'm not gonna embarrass my aunt. I'm not gonna embarrass my child. I'm not gonna embarrass his nephew. I'm not gonna do that. And if I do, I'm gonna apologize and keep going. But I'm not gonna be anything less than a black man. I'm not. I'm from the west side. I'm not a sucker. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not going to cower. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not going to, I'm just going to simply say it. And I think that ultimately, whether somebody is your ally, <coughs> your adversary, they have to respect that. Right. Yeah, I right. love how you exercise your rights as an American. Speaking oh, yeah. of rights as an American, <laughs> I want to talk about AR-15s. You oh, yeah. said <laughs> a specific love for AR-15s. Oh, I love, and I I love, love your post where you tell black people to go out and purchase AR-15s. Yeah, yeah, so oh, go get right? all the guns in your name, man. But, but yeah, and get training though. Don't right. just don't just get right. the gun. But I was an AK dude. For, my uncle Ant Man held an AK out. When they were still like full auto for the Brady Bill. Yeah, you know, they were very reliable. Yeah, yeah exactly. He very, was like in the middle of Martin Luther King, like over the black cut. It's like, who want it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I really love the AK until I shot an AR. Now, I still love the AK. The AK is the perfect. AK cool. The, it's sloppy. No, nah, it, it's, it's, it's meant to mow down everybody on that side yes. indiscriminately right. at, at, at a closer at range. At rapid pace. Yeah, you know, and, and effectively. So, shouts right. out to, you know, Kalishnikov for doing a hell like. It's funny Delicious. how Americans hate everything <laughs> communist except the AK-47 exactly. and free lunch. You know what right. I mean? We, them two things we love. But for me, when I shot the AR and when I shot the shorter versions, it just became an extension. You mean like the bush uh, my arm. Yeah, man. It, that nature. it just became an extension of my arm. And I done shot a few different versions from Palmetto Arms to the Bushmaster, but I just, I love the form of it. And then I got into meeting people like my man Coach Glue and Trigger Man and uh, Colin Noor and those dudes. And Boy, I, I, I'm learning more, you know what I mean? So, But I'm, I'm just an advocate for being, a, being like, just as self-sufficient as possible. And protecting right. you know? yourself. Protect yeah, but, but, but that, with but, protecting but, yourself. No, 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 no. Wild, I'm, yeah, I'm not apologizing. When I mean self-sufficient, meaning you might not have time to call the police. So you got to take care of your, your, for me, for my, my wife and children, you got to do that yourself. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, you can't right. say, well, society's so bad. Well, right. get some tools to protect yourself from bad society. So for me, every home should have five weapons. You should have a bolt action rifle. You should have an AR-15 or AK-47 or whatever semi-automatic rifle. You should have a handgun such as semi-automatic rifle. I prefer, I mean, <coughs> semi-automatic. I prefer Glocks, a revolver, and you should have a shotgun. You know? So if you ain't got five guns in your house and you're black, <laughs> something wrong with you. That one been talk good. That one been talk good. <laughs> hey, boy, hey, I, I walked every last one of them off the list. I'm like, chick. Yeah, chick, you got to. You chick, got to. Chick, chick. You got to. Take it to chick, chick, chick. I, I went back over the list like, am I one short? Nah, you got them all. I'm sure you got them. <laughs> we got a train, though, man. We all got them. I'm going to say in Atlanta, man. We, we need, got a train. Yeah, though. we need more black gun clubs. Shout out. I think it's a Huey P. Noon or Fred Hampton gun club. It's a, the, the Rifleless Association the, got, a, got a gun club. NAGA is a, is a black gun organization. So get out there, man, and it's cool to get outside. They got a skeet shooting um, range that they built for the Olympics right off. Right off Butner Road uh, over there somewhere, and, and when you drive by, all you see is you know white folks out there. Not not many people that should be, but go go try some skeet shooting. Get a Vanelli shotgun, go out there and get it in. I'm gonna mm -hmm. open up my own skeet shooting 
the little for thing, the little thing where it go. And we just going to play Lil John. We already on, got it, though. What I'm saying is this one. ski, ski. The, boom. Boom, boom. boom. <laughs> we already got that, it. That's just the thing with the little shit that they coming out the little thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. shoot the clay bitch. Right around the corner of Wolf Creek. That's what I'm going to call it. All ski, ski. So, so okay, I shot I shot mine with the shotgun. Yeah. And you you ain't supposed to shoot from the hip. You supposed to shoot from the shoulder? I shot that bitch from the hip, OG. You, I hit that bitch. He was like, you can't shoot from the hip. I was like, fuck that. Why? <laughs> hit that bitch. That bitch. I hit it then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that boy was throw that hill. <laughs> I hit it with the hill. Oh, yeah. hey, so how was it? So you've done it. How was it, Tracy? It's I like got... I swore on everything. He was like, he was like, he was hitting that bit. He had to like, it's like a little uh, uh, T-Rex claw. Yeah. He'll put that motherfucker in and mm. sling that motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm up there. God, I'm like, man, this shit ain't working, man. I'm yeah. shooting trees and shit. I'm like, I'm supposed to eat. Cause you really put a train with the with the arm, but yeah. I'm from the hip. He like you can hurt yourself, yeah. or you can shoot some shit that you ain't really shooting at. Yeah. I'm like nigga, hit, you just swing that bitch. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah. I told him. And caught it from the hip. He caught it one try. <laughs> caught it from the motherfucking hip. I gotta do it now. I gotta get out. Of this nigga ghetto athlete. He's good at everything. Nah, he's easy. good at singing, dancing, funny. Like appreciate it. Well, he done took down so many people. Dog on show. <laughs> 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 Shot it from the hip! <laughs> and he catched the alley oop. Hey, you hit it! I'm slamming it. I'll take one for the team. What was it? The mascot? Okay, the mascot. Uh, <laughs> Man, your car collection incredible, though. This nigga crazy, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. We Im- talk car shit. You right got here. the Impala with how many miles was on it? It got 2,500 on it now. 2,800. 20. It was had 1,500 Ooh. miles on my car. Do you? But did you see his collection though? Nah, I know we talk. We go back and forth. Oh, he, yeah. yo, he, that yeah. that Camaro, beautiful. You know somebody want an Astro van? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I think I got one of them for sale. Yeah. <laughs> you selling one too? I my grandmama, man. She gone. I just didn't oh, want to get rid of it. It's time to get rid of it, man. <laughs> It's a young nigga trying to steal a car, need that shit. It's, hey man, it's somebody trying to travel the world. Yeah man, need an Astro van. That's gonna be a trend. Everybody yeah. gonna want one now, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. You got some. You got all that shit. What's your favorite car? And- My, I just got it in '87 Grand National. See? I got to get a GNA though. But, yeah. See, I, I got the. I, I still got, got my favorite car yet. What? El Camino. Oh, Elko, that's that currency. That was currency. One here, that the money calling the Elko. It got to be right though. I don't want to be no ugly, little, little, nah. little, little long back. I don't want that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that. Look like a Nike chick. We get it. <laughs> we gonna get it. You got. Nigga, you ready? I'm, I'm tight. I'm stingy. I'm from the west side. Too stingy with his. I will. I can. I can buy it. <laughs> All the Bentleys. I don't want it. I'm I, tight. I, you notice I'm not a Bentley I'm buyer. Yeah, I, 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 I got an F-250. That's my though. favorite car. I told my wife, I said, that's a, that's a broke man roll Royce. I mean, I said, that's a working man roll Royce, man. You just bought me a pickup truck. Man, I went to the tr- uh, Chevy like yesterday. They yeah. tried to sell me a fucking $80,000 truck. I was like, for what? Ain't nothing wrong with mine. Because they said they needed to buy some trucks. They needed some. So they were trying to buy mine back. And I was like, I don't need this fucking truck. They were trying to buy yours and sell you an $80,000 I was truck. like, I use my truck. If I pay that <laughs> much for that fucking truck, can't nobody even have keys in their pocket when they sit in that truck. Yeah, I said I don't the need same, no fucking $100,000 truck. I'm a fan of buying pre-owned. I like, I like pre-owned. I'm pre-owned, pre-owned. I like pre-owned. pre-owned. I'm going to give y'all that season two out there, man. Don't. Like man, buy, it ain't nothing wrong with buying a yo' son. You, I mean yo, yo more than likely. I'm buying that bitch thirteen. This years. nigga I, buy a car, <laughs> put some gas in it, drive it to the town, and buy another one. I Listen, like, bro, nigga, stop doing that. Listen, bro, that's the West Side shit. I'm fucking around the Hey, I'm fucking around the '98 Mercedes. I tripped that there. I ain't tell you I bought that too. Big ass emblem. <laughs> How you think he the got emblem was that motherfucker like this? I'm like, man, I'm gonna get this shit to my mama, man. That nigga bought that goddamn van and drove it to the show that day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, bro, that shit got How me. How old is this? That nigga said that shit got me though. And that shit got me though. I was like, hell no. Nah. He don't even give a shit about getting the tags or nothing. Nah, he ride your tag. No, nah, because I had the I had the bill of sale. Yeah. So we get pulled up. I'm like, that's the highway in Georgia. A nigga. <laughs> the bill like it ain't gonna get dark. The bill of sale was my insurance. No, it wasn't. Why that nigga hell, boy? They gonna run that bitch. If they wanted to do anything. I just bought this from Mr. Thomas. Okay. The man. white man name was Mr. Thomas. You live in dangerous. We're gonna have to have a rally for your ass. But that you third get. seat let back, so I ain't never had a Fucked third seat. You tripping. I had a Georgia third somewhere. seat for the first time. That nigga bought a hotel room. 
I really did. Yeah, I know. The carpet is really, the carpet is amazing in there. If you was to get in there, you'll fall asleep. Hey, man. That nigga reminisced that thing. What was her name? I, what, what I called her? Yeah. I ain't even get a chance to give her a name, though. <laughs> it was going to be with an S like Susie. Susie. <laughs> the Big <pendle>. Susie. <laughs> Oh, ask no man I it, Susie. I rolled in it. Craig, you were there. Then I ride up in it. Nigga walked right past me. He said, where you at? I said, I'm in the van. <laughs> that nigga said, I'm in the van. I said, it's locked the door. That nigga stupid. Now you trying to sell it. Again. Tell him how much you want for the Astro van. 55. Firm. I don't want to hear nothing out. Give, for, me your, give me your best for price. For the Astro Van. 5,500. Give me your best price, Kevin. If you see it, you know what I'm talking about. He want 5,500. For an Astro Van. TV, is it 98? The TV still sit, Kev. The original TV. The original. Big Bang. The intercom. The, the 13-inch, black and white. You cut that motherfucker on, Malcolm X gonna pop out. <laughs> You not get Still got this van? <laughs> You're not getting no 50. I'm trying to talk him down. He won't do Listen, that. Listen, give me your baby. I ain't heard of the price yet. I just want another price. <laughs> won't nobody compromise me. How many, how many thousand miles you got? <laughs> fucking proud of you. How many miles on it? It's almost 100. I bet you it was under 150,000. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what made him bad. Okay, bro. We can't fuck with DC on Biden. He is a tough negotiator. That nigga said fifty-five hundred for one hundred fifty thousand on Astro. Yeah. Man. A man eight got one thirty-eight, kid. No, one twenty-seven. I tell that shit float. That shit float. That shit float. I think he got some float bounces on that bitch. <laughs> Get on the freeway. That bitch lift up. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I swear. Y'all is stupid, um, bro. Hey, man, this podcast right here is dedicated to niggas who want to buy DC van. I'm going to say you that bitch 2020, I swear. He is open to offers. So, so we starting the offers. Make sure you send them directly to DC Young Flag. You know what I, you know what I might turn that bitch into a scholarship? I'm going to just give it away to somebody. Just load it up. Just with, load it up with snacks and shit. Like, go to school, man. Just. <laughs> Go to school, Do man. something with your life, man. Oh, man. Take the van and go. Oh, man. Nah, nigga pull up in Albany State with a van and some little dick. Just give Nigga pull up. Hey, man. Check out and take that thing. You can have that, man. Get going, man. It's better off oh, with you shit. than just sitting in my house, man. And you know what you got to leave them? The bill of sales. I got to leave the bill of sales. <laughs> that's your insurance. That's your insurance. Yeah, they going to pull your ass. <laughs> you see the shit we have to deal with, man? Ah. <sighs> How you like them rims on the green up you got? Cool, yeah. The replicas? Yeah. I love them. Okay. They, I mean, they Sandman just, did them, did he? Yeah, Sandman. I bought, Sandman. I bought a Sandman lot of Sandman them wrong. replicas from them. I bought those and the Caprice replicas, and I got the Grand National replicas, too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people roll. I'm just, I, I like, I'm more into like, OG rims are cool. I like the Hellcat rims, so I kept the Hellcat rims yeah. on that, but I like them. Um, that's what I got the uh, the I, I, GNX I, wheels on my grand. Yeah, I think I think Chevy I think Chevy could do better with their wheels, like in terms of like making. Man, them we go. gotta go over there and holler at them and let them know, man. Yeah, we, they gotta fuck with. They gotta. They got a lot of wheels. They got a lot of wheels over there. Well, at, at your boy, at your yeah. boy spot. Same man, right? Same man. Same man. Man. man be a beautiful car. He, he, he got that desk. You seen that Caprice desk? He got. I went up to the shop. I seen I everything. Shop, yeah. He got all kind of shit up he there. Amazing. He ain't got nothing for no Astro, man. Nah, he definitely he ain't doing no yeah, Astro, man. Now, he, bought a, he, bought a, he, bought a, he bought a station wagon, though, which is the Astro If a nigga buy a station wagon, guy, right. the nigga, he'll buy an Astro He made that station wagon fight But he put uh, some station wagon, wagon ain't Yeah, he went, but, uh, he went uh, crazy. Uh, uh. Uh, El Camino with a big ass trunk back. Really, man, I feel like that thing is supposed to be like using drive-by, so you might need to target gang neighborhoods for the sale. I was been, I've been riding through Mexicans. Yeah, the, they trying to load up. You can get about twenty people in that mama. I know. I swear on everything. A Mexican looked at me. I said he went straight to the roof. He said, "Yeah, this is okay. It's okay right here." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, he, he ain't gonna pack this bitch." Ah! He ain't gonna give you 5500 though. He definitely had 55. Ain't nobody give you 5500 for no Astro, man. You sound like him. If a nigga you 5500 for Astro, <laughs> man, you owe that nigga 5800 back. 
<laughs> I, I, nigga, let me go. I bet I say that bitch. For 55? I bet I sell it. But no less than 42. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay. See, that's, that's from a, here until December. What? That's a good starting somebody place. Somebody, somebody, Let me see what somebody. the average price of. Let me see what. You're gonna, you're gonna laugh your ass off when you see the blue book. Don't look at Kelly. Kelly, yeah, let's see what she's talking about. Wait, yeah, what's she Kelly saying? Don't know what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> Man, Kelly be talking what, about her own shit. What year she is? A nine eight. A nine eight. Nine eight. This girl. So hurt. she twenty two. She nine eight hundred and twenty six thousand. Everything Ooh. work. Astro. AC, heat. They always like saying everything works. Everything works. That was the last time you drove. You crank that bitch up, right? Boy, they offer 700 for one. Well. They got, they got, they got, um. Well. They got 700. That don't, no, move. that's a 2005. That one don't days. move. No, it move. They say, look, hold on, description. <laughs> Boy, everything works. But, shit. What that say? Right now. Oh, that say Peoria, Illinois. But look. Right. Oh. Illinois, they Paul might. Vizel. See, Illinois, they might run crazy on Illinois. They, they might, might be. All right, so let's look you, at them. They rare in Georgia. They got them, they got them with the wheels it's a on. rare breed. For 1200 Ooh. Now, it's $1,125 with the old Momos on it. Nah, that ain't a real picture right there. Actually, that look like the SA did. That one, that you, one look kind of fresh. You send a nigga 1200 you ain't getting no car. You're going to get that post. You're going to get that post. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Uh, nigga, we got, nigga, I need a pair of one for sale though. I can't even find one. You looking at them? I got one for fifty-five. <laughs> I'm telling you, get the keys and everything. Oh, oh man, free tickets to the show. <coughs> Hold on, eight hundred. <coughs> eight. Tickets. I see one. It one for eighteen. I see one for eighteen. Let me see. We see one for eighteen. It's two thousand. What that oh. You can't trust eBay. Eighteen hundred. You can't that? trust eBay when a real nigga is telling you. It's I in got Pennsylvania. One. You condition, boy. Everything Ooh. work. And that's, he, and he say no return. Time. I give you a ten day return. Policy. They got one for three thousand. I'm confident. You, <laughs> if a nigga give you a return policy, he confident. Oh yeah, you can bring it back. Yeah. Bro, you killed ten me days. When you found one for eight hundred dollars, <laughs> I've been crying. That it was, was a poster. <laughs> Look, that's what I wanted to offer for it. I was that like was the a Lord poster. Well, you know, here at the eighty five South Show, we do have our own research department, and the average uh, retail price. Of a 1998 <laughs> Astro van. You ready for this? What the fuck does it say? 1600 bucks. <laughs> why, that's, why, that's why, in, why would you show him that? That's in, <laughs> that's in mint condition. That's in but look, no, though, but look, no, though, I call every time when the show, we, I always get text messages like, that's boy, I'm about to buy that motherfucker. Y'all about to buy the truck, though. You got to tell them it's the one on Kendrick Lamar look, I'm calling. They about to buy the truck, though. No, I ain't going to lie, fly. Don't sell it, cause, but we can use it. See, that was a Dodge Caravan. Y'all trying to get me for free. You should sign that motherfucker. Real talk. Oh, that was a cameraman on his car. I'm going to yeah. give it away. I forgot. Or I, that's like, to me. Or like a, a Plymouth Voyage. I one never, of them Dodges. I never liked minivans. So to me, they're just all one car. See, like, I just never been in a minivan. minivan. I've never been it's in a minivan. Ash. Not some minivan. <laughs> it's an ash. See, minivan be like, oh, look, somebody, mama, come pull up. But when you pull up in the Astro, you like, oh, that's the ice cream truck. My bad. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I got ice business. cream. I'm about my business. Gotcha, gotcha. It's an ice yeah. cream hey, truck. Man, we, we are accepting offers for DC. In the summer, cream you can truck. run it up. But actually, it's a group on Facebook that's trying to get some money together and buy the van from For real, it's, yeah. it's a group. Yeah. And there's this one dude who keep hitting me on Twitter saying his sister wanted it for real. For real. Somebody for real. keeps hitting me talking about, you still got the van? I'm like, hell yeah. They like, you gonna keep that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> now we had like, that idea you had about it. <laughs> hey, man, I was rolling at the crib. I was like, he fucking crazy. He said, you gonna keep that motherfucker. He said, well, you gonna keep that motherfucker too. <laughs> oh. He said, that's your no offer? <laughs> hey, man. That's how you know the weed working, man. Oh, said, man, speaking of, what the hell did I do with my job? Man, we just honored to have you in the trap, man. This I'm is, happy to be here, man. We've been doing this podcast for a minute. The, the, the set is so good, I was nervous we were going to go to some apartments and get busted doing no, a dope yeah, raid. No, but no. Nah, this shit is real pro. The man, we got Marvin work. Gaye on the wall. He got the look of disappointment got right? the, <laughs> at all times. Looking at me. Look how Marvin Gaye is looking at you. Yeah, Killer Mike in here, Marvin Gaye. Smoking dope. Yeah, me and Marvin Gaye actually got the same birthday. I'm going to tell you. You bullshit. No, April 2nd. Aries. Yeah. I'm an Aries myself. Yeah, you're Aries. Yeah, April 20th. I'm right on the cusp. Last 420. day. 420. You post something every day at 420. 420, twice a day. Exactly. Ooh. You okay, my man? 
That nigga so, high, he missing his after. No, he just, he, <laughs> that nigga on Oprah? He told me I'm going to go keep my car. I got six feet. <laughs> Still go through it. Bitch, I'm still trying to say this Astro man. Leave me alone. Hey Where man, if you sell it? that van, you the most hustling nigga I know. I'm gonna give it away. You can sell that man. All you gotta do is sign it. <laughs> <laughs> Just sign the van. I'm gonna give it away for a scholarship. He gonna sell that shit between North Florida and South Georgia. Sign. At least at least I had a I had a I had a like high hopes for it. Like maybe I could travel. That ain't gonna work. I can give it to somebody going to school, and maybe they can sell it. So, who's some of the new rappers you fucking with out of the city? <clears throat> oh man, I'm a real big fan. Cause people uh, always ask me, the, like they'll yeah. never ask the OGs, like nigga, who who you some of the new niggas that you like? I mean, I like I like just the young movement. Pierre, I like yeah. seeing shit just reborn. Like Atlanta's a city, it really burns itself down every two three years, and it burns in it. It's like a phoenix, like I. Love up really burn itself down and something new come out. I'm a big fan of Lil Baby, like Lil of Baby his music nuts, and his interviews. He going, he's smart as fuck. He wise. Right. You know, right. He, young, he young, but he wise and the wisdom comes through. I him. like his hood knowledge. That nigga said he keep his money in one of the plastic grocery bags, so if anybody is you hear it. Yeah. But that ain't not hood knowledge. Hood knowledge is just wrap your money up, put it up, put it in the safe. That's right. wisdom. Yeah. Like I like when he said he put his chains in his tee when he walking out the club. That's why I started early because you performing in Birmingham, Columbus, making it. Them niggas don't know you. You come right. through their time, you sweeping through what they brought. They, somebody gonna get bold, but you do that move. It's a great defensive move that never put you in a, right. in, a, a, in, a in a place where you tempting as you walk. So I just think he brilliantly <clears throat> make dope music. Of course, you know, Ghana, like when I talked to Fat Joe, he's like, yo man, Daughter loves Connor. Me being a, you know, when New York ran hip hop is when I'm growing up as a kid. So to hear a, a, a hip hop dude, graffiti artist, leader of the Terror Squad crew say that, let me know, like, you know, we here, like, the South move. is permeated all the way. So those are two, but it's not many. I don't, I like Mulatto a lot. I just got turned on to her. But she got that real, like, hip hop get a bad rap for being sexist or misogynist or whatever the fuck. But the truth is, we've been the most fair musical art form in front of and behind the camera because men and the women that were working in the offices and stuff and thinking of the marketing plans with women, and even as far back as Too Short, they always did call and response records. They call you yuck mouth. You refuse to brush no sweetheart. You can't. That was her. Wait a minute. You know who that is? Who is that? That's our agent rapping that verse. Are you serious? Dead yes, yes, man. Yes. Shot, tell yeah. her I fucking tell, love her. Exactly. Like, like hey man, I love her. Like, like, think about it. So that's, I'm supposed to be here. That's crazy. I say that because whether you look at Luke and his records, Trina and Trick, all those records gave balance. Even down to, of course, your Latifas, your Lawrence get that, but you got to give credits to your little Kims, to your Foxes. You got to give mm. credit to your Choices, your Mia X. Roxanne, Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne, Look, Chantel, of course. Been woke, bro. Exactly. So for me, man, I'm just Even like. Even when she was dead ass wrong, she was right a little bit. Kill it. I, but the young Kim. dudes in Atlanta, I support y'all. Yachty, I love what you're doing. I remember seeing the Migos there on out the plane, and I would tell my wife, I was like, they going to blow. And she was like, what make you say that? I say, they always look like a group, Shay. 
I said it always. I said, I don't care if they get on the plane or off, they are group. They dress the light. They jewel they they present themselves and they wreck is catchy. And I, so I love seeing all y'all. You know, even the ones I may not know because I'm moving around with my group, like we two about 123 days a year. So that's basically a show every three days. So I'm not home as much, you know what I mean? But when I come home, man, I'm always loving what I'm hearing, you know, right. coming out of y'all. So y'all keep that shit up, you know, keep going hard, man. Man, I've been loving Migos there saying trapped out the band, though. That's yeah. what I knew. And, and what's Migos crazy is now they, 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 they <clears throat> elder statesmen, and, and you know what I'm saying? It turns a whole new wave coming under them that's just, like, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I just really love saying, nigga, how they been like that motivation. Every time I see somebody from the city, like, baby and Migos, and just yeah. everybody from Thug and everybody just turning up. I just be living there. I be in the house soaking all oh, yeah, the shots out to Thug, too. Yeah. Thug, I'd love to get you on the Ooh La La remix, man. I, just because you, you so creative, it don't make no that sense. Bro, that, that. Yeah, Thug, yeah, that's Thug, bro. Is, Thug is true. Pee Wee the long way. Pee Wee oh, really man. underrated like Pee-wee, a motherfucker. Hey, shot. man, Pee Wee, man, like, he got so much flavor. <laughs> Shout got so much soul. His flavor just, uh, he, he, he. Master of Pee Wee. I love that shit, man. Hey, Shout to be having so much flavor. Yeah, I love Shout to shit, bro. I love Shout to shit. I just want he be more consistent yeah. in Jeff. <laughs> However he, he really do it, fight. I just fuck with it whenever nah, he feel like David, it. Nah, Mo David, Mo David. That shit with him and Pablo, dope. You know what I mean? Like, I, I fuck with, I fuck with the cats. that's coming out. And I support that. Like, that's why I said that shit with Pablo. Like, I fuck with the cats. that's coming out. And I fuck with the cats. that's coming out. And I support it. Some cats that might be off y'all radar. Uh, Ra Ra, I fuck with real Dope big. Boy, you know what I mean? Dope Boy Ra, oh, yeah, I fuck with. Ra, Ra I fuck with Sloan Heavy. I fuck with Bags. He a Richmond. He um he out of he out of the East Side out of Stone Mountain. No Bags dope. Cuz Lightyear, I fuck with. He worked with Seth, the God bless the dead, with Futures Engineers. Who Cuz mm. dropped the crazy dope project. Like so, it's a lot of just a lot of dope shit in Atlanta, man. Right, it's right. It's a lot of dope shit. I'm just loving the movement. Shit, he didn't inspire the whole street. My little cousin Derek. Rapping his ass off, you know, he's seen you succeed. I know my success a little further away, but he saw you be an example. So I want to appreciate you for inspiring the shit out of our neighborhood. Well, you know, I don't be a lot of kids want to sing, dance, and do comedy because of you. So you're doing a hell of a job at, you know, keeping that. So in terms of comedy, I fuck with him. But music, you know, this boy could go to church and take you to church with yeah, his voice. Yeah, so I just want, you are definitely one of my favorite artists. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Hey, that OG. What is that shit? Yeah. You exactly. heard that shit? Yeah. In the Astro exactly. band. Now that's dope as hell. You really need to give it to the church. Hey, what? You can straight? write it off if you do that. You give it to the church. No, I do. I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, you get a whole band to the church, See, write it, it off. It gonna make they, me you mad. tried, they gave it back. It's going to make me mad that it's just sitting in the park like that. Like, no, nah, they're going to use it. No, they're going to use it. They're going to use the church. They're going to use the church. Well, they're going to use the Astro They van. don't want the new van to get broke into. The trap van, they know going to win. They're gonna, they just send it. Remember the church, you just send the vans around the PK. Right, they're going to pick people up and stuff. That's your van. So you got after this. I'm going to use it for the The new van for the voting rally. I'm going to use it for the fruit truck. What's next with the voting? What we I don't do? know what y'all niggas gonna do. I don't what know we gonna do. Any, who, who? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta put them up. Right what's now. Y'all That's what we brought who's you running? over here. Okay, you know you on that side. Who running? I'm gonna tell y'all this. Everybody in Atlanta, man, your homework is to look up your state representative. Right. And you have a you have a prosecutor's race coming up. There's a there's your your pro- prosecutor that's in who's a black man. And there's a young progressive that's coming up running against him that's also a black man. So, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to name because I'm not choosing no side. I'm going to vote who I believe should, should be the prosecutor. But I want you guys to look into it and think as you watch them. Those people are a lot more closer to your daily life than any presidential candidate. Who's right. your prosecutor? Who are your judges? Who's your chief of police who you don't vote for but gets appointed by the mayor? Who's your city council member? Who's the city council president? All that stuff. If you don't know that stuff, you slip it. Right. You know, my grandmother, when it was a problem, she knew who to call. She called her council person. If that didn't work, she was sitting in the mayor's office. So somebody came out and saw her. But she was not going to be denied because she had given her vote and she gave her tax dollars. You pay taxes to these cities, counties, states, and municipalities, and you should demand some reciprocity. You should demand that your, that your questions are answered. You should demand a set level of things for everybody. If you have potholes, you and 10 people from your community need to start pitching a bitch to your commissioner right now, you know, yep. and, and if you and if you oh, to your council person right now, and if you're not doing that, 
you're not holding up your end of the deal. Yep, right. and you should use a white person voice when you get pissed off about it. <laughs> Listen here, you need to come over here and fix these goddamn streets. I was driving my motherfucking truck to this some bitch and damn near tore my goddamn wheel off. <laughs> Me and all my neighbors are pissed off. I got Joe, Willie, and Steve, and got the Mexicans up the street. He's pissed off. He's pretty mad. He's just as mad as I am. And my brother's gonna come over here this evening and he's pissed off too. And we're just gonna be up here every goddamn day until <laughs> Somebody figure something out. That's We're right. gonna tear your goddamn truck up. That's exactly. And they pull it up tonight. <laughs> I'm a taxpayer citizen, and I know each and every one of my rights. Don't make me call Shirley Chisholm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! You gotta say somebody's name so they know you ain't bull. Yeah, don't you make me call If I have to go over here and call Shirley Chisholm. Oh man! Sir, calm down. Somebody will be with you in just a second. That's right. That's all I want. Don't make me call Attorney Maxine Shaw at law. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> that nigga, that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. we definitely don't know what the fuck to say. Shit, you'll figure something out. Figure something out. Y'all need to pull y'all bitch ass up. I go down. I'm voting for every goddamn thing. I go and vote. Vote, man. I fought around now I'm going to hit the libertarian shit. Libertarian. There's nothing wrong with libertarianism. There's nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with people that go to the library all the time. If niggas like libraries, that's their thing. Some people like That's a librarian. Some people like people, the peace and quiet and shit. Hey, let me give you this, though. Everybody does need to do the census and shit. Do the census. Yeah. Tell them who we have. Well, it's the census. You just go online. It takes about 10 minutes, if that probably more like eight, but you just let them know, this is me, this is how old I am, this is my race, this, this is where I live. This live in my house, these my real kids. Yeah, you but, you, put your it, real yeah, kids yeah. but my grandfather, who thought like a libertarian, that the government should not be in his life as much as possible, and it should be really a deal with only a small amount of your life, when the census would come to our door, he'd simply say, this is me, this is my wife, this is our ages, this is our race, these are the children. This is boy, these two girls, this is their ages, right? And when they try to ask him other questions, he just shut the door. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That's all you got out of him. What our ages were, what our race was, the number of people in the house. And you had a right to do the same thing. That shit come up on your Ancestry.com. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can find out your granddaddy had a summer with nine kids was over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had bought the farm, but he was $14 short. You did your is, Ancestry? Which is equivalent to $22,000. <laughs> <laughs> Lost the farm that year. They moved to Arkansas with his brother. <laughs> then they disappeared off the census for three years. <laughs> that is how you know. Yeah, it come. Back. Hey, I'm telling you, I was on there. They charging me twelve dollars a month to tell me shit I already knew. Yeah. What ancestry.com? Yeah, I don't know how to cancel this shit. Nigga, you got. I, go I don't your, know how to cancel this shit. You got to go to your I'm email. I'm so deep in my goddamn family tree right now. We got to We have a crest. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Who <laughs> I'm all the way back to the white people that bought us at this point. <laughs> For real? Yeah, some of my people came over here on the Mayflower. Somebody had a baby. I don't know who it was, but a baby was born. You know, do you know where you from? Like, who, who, what you is? Yeah. You is? What you I got is? that shit on there. I'm black. Uh. <laughs> For the most, like, it, it takes a long, black. <laughs> it go back about seven, eight, nine generations before my people even get out of Mississippi. It's a fucked up story, even in reverse. I would. <laughs> So I, I go back to 1877. Man, you in 1877? It's my family. I ain't go back that far. But we I back 18. We still in Mississippi in 1877. Yeah, we was in Alabama. We Man. had came out. Ooh, where by, African by, in Ethiopia? You Ethiopian. Where's African in? in oh, that's what tell you in, in terms of your genetic. Yeah. This in terms of the real people that in my family where I we started. I can't find them, nigga. I can't find. I got them. you. I got you. I hooked you up with this site. For real. I yeah, I hooked you up. All you gonna need to know is your parents, much information on your parents' names and like birth dates. And they, and they tell you the rest. Shit. All the stuff they told me, I knew already too, though. Yeah, I was sitting there like, God. My family's been good. I'm about sitting there going back, back, yeah. back, another granddad. I'm like, can we just get out of Mississippi? They're like, nope, nigga. They was all well. right here. Hey, I gotta look up on that one. I gotta get on that one. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. worth it, man. It's worth knowing where you're from. You feel more responsible to have a good night. Right. You know what I mean? Ain't no yeah. wrong with that. They show you shit you've never even seen, like pictures of people in your family. Yeah. You'd be surprised what it come up on Ancestry, man, and how they track people. How the fuck Mine was that? another one, though. Mine, I gotta, I gotta get a girl pro props, but this that was that some dude? black. They go DNA. through your senses. That, like, again, DNA. that's the importance of doing. It's called My Black Heritage. And this sister, um, 
So y'all check out My Black Heritage. And his sister's name was Natalie. Right. And she 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 did mine. So y'all check out My Black Heritage. I like Heritage. that, because she pressed sound like she got some photo albums. Now yeah. My, my Black Heritage. There's going to be no digital. So come here, let me show you a picture. Nah, it's dope, man. My, bla- my Black Heritage. Y'all, y'all get them some support. This week? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga, you fuck up like I told you that nigga be on that cocaine. Nigga. I told you, nigga. I don't do nothing but the weed. I'm paranoid just like he is. Good shit though. Don't smoke out the air, man. Hey man. Well, I know you ain't do me like that. I seen you pick up a nigga blunt in New York who you didn't know. Hey man. And smoke that shit. And I looked at it too. I was like, no. He like, man, I ain't tripping on that nigga, man. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> nigga, that like 2016, nigga. The world was safe, dude. No, man. <laughs> Not a nigga from New York walking down the street. Ain't no telling where he walked. Hold up, me. now you exaggerate. Ain't nobody walked down the street and gave me no blood. Dude. But no, he had the blood. He was like, what's up, Lo? He was like, you were like, shit, what's up with that blood? Oh. <laughs> that dude kind of sound like that. <laughs> that might have happened. He, he, in 2006, he, he, got to, he got I wasn't with him until he got Listen, the other. In order know. for him to have a conversation with Lowe's, it had to be beneficial. Respect. So yeah. he was like, hey, Lowe's, he was like, man. Nigga, what's up with that blunt? blunt <laughs> now, what the fuck you got to say to me? 2016, that might have happened. Well, you heard everything that nigga said. I don't know, but that don't, right. sound, that don't sound like me, though. I was looking at you the whole time like, low. <laughs> the man trying to tell me a story here. You sure this was me? Why you Debo that nigga blood, man? That might have That may or may not have happened. <laughs> that nigga was looking at you like, low. I heard you cover that, you did. Put it out too. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I want to take time. I, I need to apologize for some of the shit I may or may not have done. Hey, I wasn't always the nigga I am. He is but a I was always the nigga I'm trying to be. <laughs> This nigga is a gangster unintentionally, bro. Leave me alone, he man. He took that nigga and it was half black, bro. I know. 2016, getting weed in New York. It might have been a long day. Yes, it was. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't think you smoked period that day. I might not have. You I saw might that. Knew this you day. took that nigga black home and it was yours. It's, <laughs> it's, nigga, it's, it's yours. My bad. Whole time. I'm- we ain't kill a kid, bro. The slide up in the field. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, he got one on, he did too. Now nah, I smoke joint. I learned that from Jason Jeter. For real. Jason will walk in the room. He'll pass two I'm joints out. That's the room. Down. The one he got belonged well, to him. You gotta put it out. Yeah, I, listen, I listen Jason. to the story. Yeah, I smoke a joint. I dolo. I give you a joint, but I ain't smoking no. I don't even I don't like the paper. I'm a yeah. blunt man. Yeah. He said he, he saw the nigga pad the blunt around. He ain't like that shit. Nah, Jay just don't do it. Jay like, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to really regulate passing shit back to a nigga. But that way you just smoke your own weed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just smoke a joint. Oh, if no, I, if a nigga want, I just give a nigga a joint. Just take the joint. Right, right. right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like that. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. So you just spreading, that really was just a whole yeah. lot to say. Just smoke your own shit. Yeah. Nah, it ain't even like, if I got some shit, I, you can smoke my shit. You just can't smoke with me. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. still said smoke yeah, yeah. your own smoke, shit. Yeah, yeah. Smoke your shit, yeah, smoke, but it's nigga. my shit. Get a little bit of my yeah, shit. Yeah. So you can smoke on your own. Smoke on, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My blood is yeah. my blood, nigga. Yeah. Damn. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> and it real OG, could that go for you whole too? I'm not right. smoking with you. I smoke with my wife. <laughs> She'll get a room a joint. And we'll shout out nobody. to all the they women that still weed. No, 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 no. no, no. Cause I'm Ain't always no nigga that fuck with them and they bring it back. And okay, respect, respect, respect. I got some weed. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, was, I, I you mean, you ever smoke titty weed? It warm. It's moist. It burns. Hard to break fine. down too. It is. It's it's sticky, but it's it's, it's warm though. Yeah. That's why you need a grinder. Why you keep sliding them cards over like this? Nigga, text him. All right, man. Cause that's the research department, and we don't need him on camera doing the whole. That won't tax you. Keep sliding the card. Where my card at, motherfucker? I ain't got you no card. You know you ain't gonna read it. Yes, I am. Give me a card, nigga. You ain't gave me shit. What's your card say? Nothing. Nothing. I just want to feel important. <laughs> read your card, nigga. When the album coming out, bro? <laughs> June fifth, man. Run the jewels four. June fifth. Yep. You can't pre can't pre buy can't can't. Yeah, um, you pre buy now. I want to get that shit. Yo, run the jewels. I mean, I'm a real nigga. 
I'll buy a nigga shit. I'll buy it. I, I, I want your pain on you the cover and all, man. Get that 24 hours right now. Don't get that thing, honey. I don't do nothing on my right phone now. but text and IG. I don't know how to do nothing, though. Hold up, nigga. I still buy CD from DBS Sound. For real? Mm-hmm. You a real nigga. Cover look like that. That be dope. Hold up. I saw that. Okay. iTunes. iTunes. I got all the shit on here oh. already. I'm going to buy the shit. What it called? OG? I got Pledge Allegiance RTJ to the Grand Run the, Jew Run the Jewels 4. Killer Mike Chronicles. The Killer. I got the Adidas single. I always hated oh. that record. <laughs> I don't know why. It wasn't my record. It was an Outkast record they gave to me because Columbia wanted me to have a single. Pre-order. And I hate the record like it's not a good record. Like I rap my ass, I was dope, but it just it wasn't Killer Mike. It was just a it was a good record. Killer Mike was presented as a Killer Mike record. Hold on. What you think you went the hardest on? What's the song that you think it was your hardest song? Oh man, so many bad day, worst day, um, untitled. Um, that's life. Ric Flair. Yeah. Claremont Lounge. So glorious. Yeah, God in the building, one and two. Yeah, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. Claremont Lounge. Oh, that Claremont Lounge. I wrecked that hoe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Coming through Allen Temple on, on four. Folks. Hey. And Uncle, Uncle Moon is lack, lack with some hood, hood red hoes. Your uncle real nigga for letting you get the lack. That's Big Boy's uncle. It let me hold the lack. That's Big's uncle. He's the aunt that Big will let hold the dope cars, the old school and shit. And, Did he you get know? It? Mooney was on, he uncle to us all. He's still around. Well, yeah. Big uncle. Do I get it? Hold on. There You've you already pre-ordered this item to view or cancel your pre-order. Go Yankee and the Brave. Page. Yeah. Yankee Ooh la la. la. <laughs> yeah. Killer Mike, we appreciate you stopping through. Man, I appreciate y'all having me, man. man. We appreciate that. Not, these niggas need to hear. We got some wild motherfuckers. These y'all niggas know my music. I fuck with them. But yeah, I fuck with all them masked up niggas looking like ninjas and goddamn Batman yeah. back though. <laughs> Shots out. Yeah. This shit look like the Robin Crew. For y'all folks who can't see it, like these niggas look like they will kill, murder, and maim you for some No, nah, these niggas actually went to college. And no, I know, but that don't mean them niggas on CrossFit. Them niggas got shoulders out there, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> they ain't talking about them niggas working. <laughs> they they care, yeah, them niggas ain't. Yeah. yeah. I look from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Man, genuine love and respect. I'm gonna get out y'all way though, oh, man. man you ain't gotta do too I wish y'all going to the flame, but it's still closed. We just go to the oh, car. Oh man, look. don't you just miss strip club wings? Man, we got, we got they got on the fan page. I miss the fun. Shout out to Ish, man. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing no on the fan. Up, like, yeah, it hell no. Nah, Three ninety nine for the whole month. I got Pornhub. I'm definitely not looking at no ass right, for no pay. Came back coochie, yeah. won't back coochie. By the way, I just put Pornhub on. I'm not gonna watch ass through TV. I'm not. I want to see ass in person, man. I've right. just been fantastic. I miss the flame, man. Right. I love real ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta see it in person. In, come on, tell them now, boy. Got a Honda. <laughs> tell them now. She gonna dance for 20 songs. Come on now. 20 songs. Now look, when we first came to the trap, we told you we was bringing all the motherfucking legends through yes, here. Yes, we did. Killer Mike officially has been to the trap. I appreciate that. 85 time. South Show. <laughs> Swag Shop. Run the jewels for. Go get it. <laughs> what is June what? Plant some five. tomatoes, June bitch. 5th. June fifth. Apple Music. Westside. Westside shit. Nine. You know AR-15s. Chevy oh, Impala. Cripple Cola for you. Cripple Cola. Oh. Got that Cripple Cola. Larry Newface is up on everything. Everything. You brought me this or this yours, Larry? You gonna drink that shit? This is I got museum. some y'all. I just got some in. We gotta, we gotta have both, because if we drink one without the other, we're gonna offend one we of got both. Sides. That's what's up, man. Well, look, you know you got our support. And oh, when man. the album drop, we we plan it live on the show. When they open the world oh. back up, we got the cruise, man. We, we, you, you got to come do the 80 vibe with us one time. I'm come do it. Yes, sir. It. Let, let us get a track in with the 80s vibe. Ooh, that'll be so hard. Ooh. 80 vibe, man. We put the band over in the studio and we set the tone. We and set we, that bitch up, You right. know what I mean? Yes, sir. We'll talk about we'll this. We'll talk about this. You know where we at. You know the where trial. we at. Look at Marvin Gaye. He so he so he approves this show. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this is the 85 South Show. We out this bitch. My man's in there. Oh, you already know.
man. I appreciate y'all. Great show, man. We appreciate you, my boy. Niche. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, Boy, your ass crazy. I don't look my best, so I'll do it at home and I'll send you guys. That nigga text me that don't offer up for real, bro. That nigga said, you got that bitch? I said, yeah. He said, you can keep it. I said, nigga, you crazy. Uh. Check out the swag in the bag. Yeah, yeah. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Medicine. Get it in. Yeah, man, y'all doing a great job, Brandon. I appreciate it, OG. <laughs> Keeping that shit going. Thank you. 